Do you ever just look at yourself in the mirror and think you don't look that bad or your skin doesn't look that bad? And then you are in front of lights and look through a camera and uh, your face. That's <laughs> how I feel right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided to create this Demi Lovato makeup look. I will insert the picture right here. I absolutely love the makeup look that was done. I just love everything about the photo. Demi Lovato is absolutely beautiful and this has to be one of my favorite photos of her. So I decided to recreate this look and also try to recreate the picture which you guys will see later on in the video. So if you guys would like to see how I recreated this look then please just keep on watching. Anyways, um, let's just ignore the fact that my face is super bright red right now i had an allergic reaction to something so yeah and the lights are definitely making it a lot worse but it's okay because we're gonna put on makeup and it's gonna go away demi's look is a very it's a very smoky like a smoky burgundy type color and that's the look that I'm going to recreate. So I guess we'll just get right into it. I'm gonna spray my face with the Cucumber Green Tea Spray by Mario Badescu. For primer, I'm gonna take a mixture of Kat Von D Hy Hydrating Primer and a MAC Strobe Cream in the shade Pink Light. I'm going to be putting the Kat Von D on the outer part of my face like my forehead and then for my cheeks I'm going to be using the MAC strobe cream I really like the strobe cream because it gives you that nice like hydrated dewy shine without it being way too like oily looking if that makes sense now I'm going to go in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Brighten up those under eyes. Demi's look is very glowy, so I want to try to recreate that as best as possible. These lights are not flattering whatsoever. For foundation, and today I'm going to be using the Dior Skin Forever Foundation in the shade 010 going to take a couple pumps on the back of my beauty blender and dab that all over the face. <laughs> Adding foundation in my eyes look worse. <laughs> so for concealer, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C3. I'm pretty. To set my face, I'm going to be taking the MAC Mineralize Loose Powder in the shade Light. Okay, so I'm going to leave that powder right underneath my eyes and go ahead and start in with the eye makeup. Okay, so I'm going to prime my eyelids with a MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Okay, so I'm gonna set that eye primer. So for the eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be taking this shade right here. And I'm gonna be popping that in the crease. Especially with darker looks that I'm going to build up, I like to add a crease just to make that transition into the darker shades a little bit better and it just makes it look a little more flawless in the end. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking this shade of the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm going to be taking that color um, in the outer corner and in that crease to deepen up that color and start transitioning into the darker colors. 
I think I want to do a halo eye effect. I'm going to be adding that burnt orange color to the inner corner of my eye as well and blend that up to the crease. Okay, so you should have something like this. On to the other eye. I'm going to take that first brush that I used for the first color in my crease and just blend that out a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to take a MAC eyeshadow in the shade I'm into it and I'm going to deepen up that crease in the outer and inner corner. I want to dust away the powder that's underneath my eye. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking this darker, deep burgundy shade right here in the Jaclyn Hill palette and just again darken up the crease and the outer inner and outer corner. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of that Painterly Paint Pot and apply it to the center of my eyelid. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying a MAC, a MAC shade called Star Violet and I'm going to be using my finger, dipping that in there and applying it to the paint pot. go back in with that I'm into it shade and just blend that in around the shimmery shade I applied to the center okay so now I'm going to be taking I'm into it and putting that underneath my eye Okay, so now I'm going to be taking that deep burnt orange shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just using it to blend out that lower lash line a little bit better. Get rid of those harsh lines. I'm going to be tight lining and applying a liner to my upper eyelid with Engraved from MAC. be applying that eyeliner underneath just to give that look a little smoky effect. Now I'm going to blend out the eyeliner with a pencil brush. So for the inner corner highlight I'm going to be taking this first shade here in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I already sprayed my brush with Fix Plus. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying mascara using the MAC and Extra Dimension Mascara in Black. I'm also going to be applying mascara to my lower lashes as well. Okay, so while I let that mascara settle in and dry, I'm going to finish the rest of my face. For bronzer, I'm going to be taking my Refined Golden by MAC and my 135S brush. Demi's face is really bronzed and chiseled, so gotta pack on that bronzer to make that same effect. <laughs> ok 
Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Contour Palette and take these two dark shades right here. Okay, and now we're going to draw on some cheekbones. For blush, I'm going to be taking my MAC Cheek Pollen Blush with my MAC 168 brush. I'm going to spray down my face really quick. For highlighter, I'm taking the Becca Highlighter in Opal. I'm going to spray my brush really quick. Demi's highlight is on point, so we have to make sure that... Our skin is just as glowy. I'm gonna spray my face again. I'm just gonna be applying Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So for lashes, I'm going to be applying these Euler Luxe eyelashes. I put the wrong eyelash on the wrong eye. Man, those took a minute to apply. So for the lip, it looks like the Demi has a little bit of gloss, so I'm going to be taking my MAC Lip Gloss in Love Nectar. Alright guys, that is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below telling me what you think about the video and how I recreated the look. Also comment down below if you have any other ideas or any other things that you want me to do next in my videos. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. I'd really appreciate it. Alright, well that's it for today, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!